What have been some of the pros and cons of this particular group, just in general? I see a face right there. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I, that, we want to know exactly. We want to know exactly what Sarah was thinking right now. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, one of the things that came to mind uh, every once in a while, people get a bee in their bonnet about something, or they'll have a very strong opinion, and they'll not be afraid to like hold back. And sometimes that can turn into a lot of negativity or vitriol on the page and then missy and i yeah. step in and shut it down and often uh the dms that you get after that are one of the more sort of negative aspects of of running the page um and another thing sometimes too is um every once in a while i felt anyways like when you do have to shut something down sometimes there are like being a woman and doing that can be difficult um especially when you're coming to a, a male sometimes older than yourself and having to step up and say like, no, like they had that opinion or the way you were expressing it, like wasn't conducive to our community guidelines. There can be some like misogynist uh -huh. backlash that is like painful to deal with every once in a while. But Missy and I always have each other when something like that happens. So we'll like screen grab sometimes those conversations and text them to each other and be like, hey, heads up, like this guy is on a terror right now. And, and we'll be like, oh, oof, like, <laughs> Thank goodness we have each other to like talk to and vent to about that. Sometimes it is difficult um, in society in general to be um, a woman in a position of authority, like running a business, having a salon. I can't tell you how many times I've answered the phone to a cold call solicitor who's like, hey, I'm looking for the boss. Is he around? <laughs> and you're like, uh, no, he's out right now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie and I, we do have an Italian background. We can call our family if you ever need any help at the salon. Yes. <laughs> Give him a, put him across our leg a little, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Frank, yeah. Franco's family, they're the ones who break the bones. My family, they come and they're the cleanup crew. They make sure this works. <laughs> I have a couple uncles in the cement industry, I won't lie. <laughs> That's how you hit them so well. <laughs> Amazing. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, I think for me, the, the pros and cons kind of intersect right now, if that makes sense. It's like, so so I created the group 10 years ago, and, and now it's just taken on its, a whole new life, and it, it, it feels like this was the reason that the group was created. Like, there are obviously other reasons, but it's kind of come into this fruition that, that was obviously extremely unexpected for everybody. So the pros are like having it available as a resource during a super bananas time. And I think it's in some ways just the beginning of the weirdness for our industry. So it, like, it'll still be a support moving forward as we're trying to figure out this situation. Um, and it feels useful. And I, I like to feel useful. I have a thing about it, <laughs> uh, one of those things. But um, if I had to like try to figure it out for myself, like uh, just all this information would feel more overwhelming or like, you, like you're cooking a five course dinner for just yourself. You wouldn't do that. I'd rather cook a five course dinner for as many people as I could, then it's like worth the effort. So I'd rather like share with as many folks as possible if I'm gonna do all that work and, and we're all in the same storm and it's like that community connection that I value so much and I'm willing to work for my community, you know? So it's like satisfying to be able to like try to help in such a, a stressful and traumatizing time and it's a really good distraction because it's also extremely time consuming yes. <laughs> and and that's also a con <laughs> so. let's everybody clap on behalf of the group for all the <laughs> efforts that you guys have put in on uh, behalf Sarah of too. Yes, yes thank you so yes. much that's, yes. it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time yeah so, so, like keeping the peace and and moderating the misinformation i think is also really really important because people you know pick up little like uh, iotas of of ideas and as soon as you put it in writing it seems like the truth and we've just got to make sure that it is the truth before it gets kind of disseminated because we can't be responsible for, I mean, it, this is a really serious situation. And if, if we have any sort of responsibility in somebody doing something that's going to cause somebody to get sick, potentially, like I, I have an inflated sense of responsibility around that, you know, so, so, and things can get out of hand pretty quickly too. Like Sarah Jane was saying is like, like I go to bed at like 9.30 and I wake up and there's been like a situation. And so it's like, yeah. it happened for six hours from 11 p.m. on and we're like, oh no. So yeah. I'm trying to dance that on top of it. Sorry? Oh, a member has flagged this content. A member has flagged that content. Yeah. We're like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> 
What conversations yeah. or what types of conversations are these coming from? You don't have to get into specifics, but just yeah, there have been a few where yeah, people just like go go off kilter and then they start fighting about whatever minutia that they're wondering about and it's the name calling and so, you know we can't we can't allow that. It's we want to keep a good vibe to the group, so it's interesting to like navigate it and parse what needs to be done in in like every individual situation and uh, and everyone is struggling. So the goal is to approach approach it with like with empathy, which can sometimes be a challenge as well. <laughs> Empathy yeah. and authenticity is always what I felt you guys kept the oh, kept yeah. the group as. Like, you know, it's always felt like that as a member uh, at, of the community. It, it always felt like that. So you're doing a great job, and and I could imagine how hard it would be to not take it personally. Mm -hmm.